Hey you, are you ready for Team Sonic Racing, Bayonetta 3, Crash Bandicoot, NBA 2K19, Fortnite Switch, eShop Update, Square Enix, Konami and Nintendo's E3 Plan News? If you're ready, stay tuned after the intro. Welcome to the Sarge Arcane's little boy. We got live streams and gameplays, little boy. Le level up, level up, Super Mario. Get crazy, man. W Wario. We about to take off, take over the whole planet. But my time is running out, so you better check the channel. We got a lot of information. Let's get it. You want all that information? Come get it. Hello, gamers. How are you doing? I hope you're doing fine. Welcome to Short Charger Game News. Today I have many news items for you, so let's start with the first news items for today. Sega and Walmart revealed Team Sonic Racing a couple days ago, and since then we did not see any gameplay from the game. So if you are interested in this game, check the full 3 minute video gameplay from Team Sonic Racing, it looks really cool. I like the game. Link is in the description. A Reset Era member has noticed that a number of E3 Nintendo Switch placeholders have gone live on Amazon UK and one of the game is for Bayonetta 3. So does this mean that we're going to get Bayonetta 3 this year? I really hope so. And with E3 around the corner, we're going to hear more for sure. Alright gamers, next articles. Konami did not support Nintendo Switch in a great way so far. Even that Super Bomberman sold great on Nintendo Switch for them. But that's about to change. Because according to Konami's E3 2018 exhibition section, there are two untitled Nintendo Switch games that will be shown at this E3. And one is an action adventure game, maybe a new Castlevania game, and the other game will be a compilation game, I hope for Pro Evolution Soccer. Square Enix, they support Nintendo Switch good so far, and they are going to support it even better. Square Enix confirmed that they have more games for its Switch in development and they have devoted a division especially for Nintendo Switch development. They also said that they want to see how Octopath Traveler performs at Rift Tail on the Nintendo Switch, before committing to much of their resources. Sounds good. Next up. It seems that Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy on the Nintendo Switch and Xbox One could include a special bonus level. This information was spot on Reddit after a Brazilian retailer leaked the box art for the Xbox One version which said that it will have two bonus levels. One is the same as the PS4 version and a new one called Future Tense. NBA 2K18 sold good on Nintendo Switch for Take 2. So maybe that's the reason why we're going to get also NBA 2K19 on the Nintendo Switch. The game will release this September, but some retailers have been promoting an event that allows gamers to play it 4 day early. And this promotional art includes a confirmation that the game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. And that's cool. Alright, next. One thing most gamers don't like about the Nintendo Switch is how Nintendo Switch eShop looks and how difficult it is to find some games on it. Lucky us that Nintendo changed it now. The Switch eShop got some new sections and features. There's now a feature section and a deal section called Great Deals. The charts now include top 30 titles as well as an option to change to digital only titles. Great, great, great. Fortnite is a free to play game which you can download for almost any console right now. But for a Switch version, we have to wait a bit longer, because there's more evidence that the game is coming to Nintendo Switch. A Twitter user Cyrusim has noticed that Nintendo has pushed through an update for the popular Fortnite on Nintendo Switch, so the game is coming for sure, and E3 is the right place to confirm the game. Alright, let's go to the last news items for today. Nintendo will start this E3 on June 11th with a select two World Championship, and they will do a lot more things. So they decided to produce a handy guide for their E3 event. So a Splatoon 2 and a Smash Bros tournament for Nintendo Switch. This sounds great. A day later they will host a Nintendo Direct E3 2018 video presentation that will feature games launching in 2018, including Super Smash Bros. And after the Nintendo Direct presentation, the Treehouse Live will start. I can't wait to see what they're cooking for us. Mr. Sakurai will be at the upcoming Nintendo Direct presentation. And we all know why he will be there. To show us the new things in Super Smash Bros for the Switch. And maybe that he gave us a sneak peek in another project he's working on. We have to wait just 6 days people to find out what he will show us. Alright gamers, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please like and subscribe for more. Let me know in the comment section what you think about those news items. Have a great gaming day, take care, be positive, peace. 
Thanks for watching, thanks for your time. Thumbs up for the video, comment and subscribe. You better hit the button, come and follow the tribe. With every few subs, so I'll see you next time. Let's get it on.